Hello mortals, or should I call you immortals? Today's topic is fairly counterintuitive or even straight up crazy. It involves complicated quantum mechanics and fancy math, but the result is worth it as it may make you immortal. Do you remember the Schrodinger's cat? Me neither, briefly, if you put it in a box with a bomb that would go off if an electron would spin up, it would die. If the electron spins down, nothing happens. The electron is being measured every second. If you close the box and wait a second, you would expect the cat to be either alive or dead. However, in quantum mechanics, things can exist in a superposition, that is in both states at the same time, until observed. If observed, the superposition breaks and the universe chooses a random outcome. So, inside the box, if not being observed, the electron will be in a superposition and spin both ways at the same time. Because the cat's life depends on the electron's spin, it would also exist in two states, alive and dead at the same time. The bomb also exploded and not exploded at the same time. This is called the Copenhagen interpretation. And there is a good chance that it is wrong. But not all is lost. There is another one, more widely accepted and even crazier, the many worlds interpretation. It states that when the superposition is broken, instead of only one possibility being chosen at random, the universe splits in all the possible outcomes. In this case, the cat is both alive and dead, but in parallel universes. I swear I'm not making this up, this is solid science. Now back to the topic of our video, quantum suicide and immortality. Take the Schrodinger's cat and replace the cat with yourself. It's the only way to do it. Now measure the electron. Initially, your chances of survival are 50%, and so on, 25%, 12.5%, 25 25%, 3.25%. 25%. 50 attempts, the chance of survival is 0 0.000, that is 1009%, yet you are still somehow alive. What is going on? Why don't you die? The answer becomes clear when we look at it from the many worlds interpretation. Each second, the universe splits in two, one in which you remain alive, and one in which you are dead. Because you can't exist in a universe in which you died, your consciousness continues only in the universes in which you are alive. Each time the universe divides, you experience only the version of the universe in which you are alive. In all of the other options, you are dead, and thus can't experience them. That's why it seems that you can't die no matter how many times you try to, when in reality you are going only on a narrow slice of all the possible universes in which you are alive. On the other hand, in all of the other universes, everyone has seen you die. So no matter how many times you will try to commit suicide, if there is even the slightest chance that you will survive your attempt, from your perspective, you will be immortal. Or better said, immune to suicide. However, you won't be able to live forever. Eventually, because of aging, all of the universes will result in your death. After all, is quantum suicide real? Does it work in real life? Should you give it a try? Here are the pros. If it works, you will prove that the MWI and quantum immortality works, but only to your narrow slice of universe, as everyone else will just simply see you as dead. In fact, you could theoretically put all of the humanity in the box so that everyone goes through the experiment. Now, if that doesn't work, you fucked up pretty bad. What about the cons? MWI might not be true after all, and you would just die, even if it works. All your loved ones from all the universes in which you died will be a little bit sad. I might also be legally punished for encouraging a suicide. So is it worth the gamble? As the scientist Max Tegmark put it, I'd be okay but my wife Angelica would become a widow. Perhaps I'll do the experiment one day, when I'm old and crazy.